I think these are cold words, wolf whistles, dog whistles. You know, this is all the kind of rhetoric of the right-wing assault upon the character and integrity of a man who is as mild-mannered a black man as you're going to find. If you can't accept Barack Obama in the presidency as an intelligent, articulate African-American man going about trying to negotiate between competing claims and rival uh, ar arguments about what is right and wrong, then you can't accept anybody. He is as mild manner, as considerate, as thoughtful and reflective as a man might be. And on top of that, I think that Ms. Finney is making a point that we need to reinforce. That is to say that there is a, a kind of resentment of the right wing that this man has lost his moorings because he doesn't know where he belongs, which is underneath them, subordinate to their particular practices. To easily call him a thug and to call him a person who is a bully is also coded to try to make him look like the other again, like he's outside the pale of our normal American practices and he has to be treated suspiciously. It's quite so, ridiculous. So you're almost suggesting, Professor Dyson, that he they're happy for him to have been involved in using his labor to build the White House, but for him to win an election and live in the White House, that's just not acceptable. You're a great speechwriter and a great, uh, you know, polemicist <laughs> of the first okay. order.